At NBAA 2007 in Atlanta, Spectrum Aeronautical's Lyndon Blue explained details of an aircraft his company has in development. The Freedom is set to be a mid-sized class leader with projected performance characteristics that could revolutionize business jet travel. Cruising at altitudes up to 45,000 feet, the Freedom Jet's six-foot diameter cabin is designed to carry two pilots plus eight passengers. Using the King Air and Citation XLS as benchmarks, Blue said that his aircraft will burn half the fuel of the King Air while providing performance that closely matches the XLS. That kind of economy, according to Blue, will be the product of revolutionary construction techniques that will create extremely low-weight carbon composite parts. Those parts will include an integrated de-ice heating matrix and a lightning protection grid. The electrical resistance system can be laid right in the mold first thing and cured as a part of the wing structure. And that's, that's a, uh, an elegant way to do it. But it's the GE Honda HF120 power plants that may truly set the jet apart. The GE Honda engine is targeting a 5,000-hour TBO, which Spectrum says is unprecedented for an aircraft this size, while also allowing lower emissions and fuel consumption and a direct climb to 45,000 feet. The project has attracted Kerry Matthews, formerly of NetJets Europe, who told those in attendance that he fought for the chance to create the infrastructure that will support the aircraft through training and maintenance facilities as well as vendor supply chains so that it might become what Blue hopes it will be, the most reliable aircraft in the sky. At two years from projected certification and delivery dates, the company has a comfortable but unspecified backlog of orders and is currently raising additional funding to keep up its aggressive schedule. Spectrum hopes to be working with its own GE Honda HF120s by November of next year, and maybe sooner. We spoke with a Honda representative who was in attendance and supported Spectrum's optimism about the engine's timetable. We will have a certification engines uh, up and running uh, summer next year, and we will be uh, certifying this engine in uh, the middle of uh, uh, 2009. In other words, Lyndon Blue's dream of freedom could within two years usher in a new reality for business jets. We'll keep watch.